How's it going Libra? This is going to be your uh, September reading. We're going to be seeing what's coming up for you guys in love, money, and career. This is like whatever messages come up. All right. Keep in mind that this is a general reading. If it doesn't resonate, you can check um, the other houses, the signs from other houses. Okay. I'm going to be using the, the fashion tarot, uh, light sears tarot. Moments deck, the notebook, Oracle, and also Polaroids, okay? So, um, <clears throat> excuse me, let's go ahead and get started and see what's coming up for you guys in the month of uh, September. I'm going to be checking the overall energy, okay? What's coming up for Libra in the month of September, please? First card out is Judgment. Okay, we have Three of Wands, Four of Wands, and also Two of Coins, okay? Underneath the deck, we have King of Cups. Let's go ahead and do some uh, let me move this. Probably move it like this. All right, so let's go ahead and get some clarifiers as well. All right, bottom of this deck, we have the Hangman. All right, so bottom of this deck, King of Cups, we have Judgment, clarified by Queen of Swords. Three of Wands, clarified by the Emperor and Ace of Pentacles. Uh, four of Wands, clarified by the High Priestess. And Two of Coins, clarified by the Nine of Wands. So let's see what we can make out of this. Overall, <clears throat> I feel that you guys may be if this is a love relationship um, or some sort of connection that you've been dealing with, um, I see uh, that you guys may have may be in a, a stalemate or some sort of state of limbo with um, this King of Cups over here. Okay, um, just go by the energy and not by the actual gender on the cards. Uh, this person can be Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer. That doesn't necessarily have to be. But I see that you guys are in limbo with uh, another person or a situation, okay? Uh, it could be that you guys are in limbo about your feelings about something, okay? Or about someone, all right? Uh, with the judgment, I see that it looks like you you are seeing things clearly now, right? You're, I feel that in September, they're going to be accepting the situation for what it is. This is like, okay, no more sugarcoating things, no more having hopes, about specific outcomes or no more uh, seeing things that aren't there. It's like, I feel the energy around this situation is one that you are, you are gaining uh, clarity, right? You're gaining clarity in the situation and you're seeing things for how they really are and for what they really are, okay? No one's pulling no one's gonna be pulling the wool over your eye. No one's gonna be feeding you false information because you're gonna be able to see right through it. And I think 
by you being able to see right through things or seeing the truth in a situation, um, I feel that you're going to be cutting some things out of your life, okay? You might even be cutting some people out of your life, a person out of your life, or you're going to be cutting or uh, removing yourself from a situation, okay? I see that you guys have been waiting. You've been waiting for an opportunity, like a new start with uh, another person, okay? Um, if it is not love related, uh, I see that you guys have been waiting for an opportunity for more stability into your, in your life, for you uh, gaining more stability financially as well, okay? Um, but on the love uh, part, I see that you may have been uh, waiting on someone, someone. You may, have been, you may have been dealing with this person and this person, like this King of Cups person that I was telling you about. Maybe the kind of person who has who who uh is rigid right they're not like it's, it's either their way or the, or the highway they don't they don't like to see things from another person's perspective they want to do things the way they want to do them and that's just how it's going to go okay and you may have been waiting for um some sort of opportunity to I was gonna say stabilize. Why did I, where did I get that word? Stabilize the connection, or, or if you guys are already in in connection with somebody, maybe you've been wanting to stabilize it for things to go smoother. Maybe you've been wanting. Uh, maybe things have been up in the air, or you guys have been um, on a break or separation, or you haven't been seeing eye to eye, or the connection has not been getting off the ground. You know, but this is uh, you've been waiting for that opportunity. I see that. I see with the four of wands, there's going to be some sort of reunion here, okay? There's a reunion here, and it seems like it seems like you already know, right? You already know that this reunion is going to happen, and I feel that it may be this same person coming back, okay? Even though you guys have been at odds, I feel that there's some sort of uh, connection between you guys. There's like a, I feel that this person, this person very, very well for a lot of you guys may be a twin flame and you may be in the whole uh, chase or runner type scenario. I feel that you guys, yeah, I feel that you intuitively know already that, you know, this person is going to return. I feel that your person also may be juggling uh, two things, okay? Uh, your person may not, you may not have your person's undivided attention, okay? Your person may be busy in other areas. And I feel that, I feel that even though this person uh, comes in and out or comes back or, you know, you guys reunite or you come back together or you come together, I feel that you're tired of it, okay? With the nine of wands here and with the two of coins, I feel that you're tired, you know? You may be tired of maybe too much time has passed, okay? Maybe you're tired of waiting. Maybe you've gotten over it, you know? Maybe maybe your person, your person may have been dealing with um, indecision, okay? Maybe in dealing with a lot of indecision and maybe maybe they are tired of somebody waiting for somebody to make a, a decision finally of being in an uh, in limbo all the time. Because I feel that you have a lot of love for this person. You definitely have a lot of loving feelings and I feel that there's a lot of commonalities between you guys on an emotional level. But I feel that there's some sort of there was some sort of disconnect. OK, because. You guys weren't connecting. You guys were at a break. You guys, there was a lot of distance between you guys. Even though you guys have this, these feelings and these emotions for each other, there was a, a, uh, a disconnect or, like I said, distance between you guys. You guys weren't, you may not have even been talking, you know? Let's see what else um, I can pull. Let's see what else information we can gather for you guys.
Okay, we have regret. All right, somebody in this connection may be, be regretting not stepping up to the plate, not coming in, not uh, solidifying this connection sooner. Um, I feel that somebody, somebody, and it may be your person, uh, the other person feels that, you know, has, has regrets of not stepping up to the plate or, or doing the right thing. And I feel that what, for some of you guys, okay, the reason why this person um, may not have been connecting with you a lot because they were indulging in other areas, okay? Um, they could have been indulging with other partners, other people. They could have been indulging in um, other vices like drug, alcohol. It was something. They were doing something. This person... Um, I'm not saying that this person is a drug addict or anything like that, but I'm just saying that there was some sort of uh, unhealthy addiction or unhealthy habit that this person had that really kept this connection between you guys um, at bay, right? It kept it at bay, just like in the in the three of uh, three of wands card. It's like you felt this person, you felt the connection with the person and you see the, the boat in the background. Like the person is like out there in the sea somewhere, like in sight, emotionally, but they're not coming in, right? And that's how I feel like your person was preoccupied with other things. They were enjoying uh, other things. They were feasting on other things. You know what I'm saying? They were, they were having fun, you know? Because this card, when I see this card, okay, this represents, you know, uh, unhealthy habits that we might have, like overeating, um, maybe too much of something, right? Too much of a good thing. Maybe uh, unhealthy se sexual habits, like maybe a lot of random hookups, one night stands, uh, just sleeping around with a lot of people, uh, overindulging on alcohol, drugs, all that stuff, okay? But this is like an unhealthy type of uh, dynamic. Now, underneath the card, uh, underneath, the, underneath the card, we have marriage. So it tells me that your person, your person is wanting to come back. So it's like, okay, after they've gone out and done whatever they, God knows what, with who knows, who knows, who knows who, <laughs> Uh, I feel like this person wants to come in and come with a, may come with a, a, a solid offer now. It's like, okay, I'm done playing around. I've played around a, a lot enough. I've gone out there, may have even gotten burnt a few times, um, broke a few, few hearts, had my heart broken, indulged, did X, Y, Z, like I said. Um, <laughs> Went around the block three or four or five times and now I'm ready to, you know, come back and see if I can offer you something, you know, let me see what else I get with this. I feel that it feels like um, you by this connection, maybe not coming together or there being issues between you two. Um, or like distance between you two, I feel that that was uh, protection. You were being protected. Sometimes rejection is protection, okay? Sometimes we, we want a certain thing and then we can't have it and then we think that, you know, something's wrong. Like, why can't we have it? Why is this, why is this this way? Sometimes it's like that for a good reason because maybe that person is not right for you. Maybe that person is not a healthy uh, option for you, you know? I feel... And this water was upside down, so it tells me that your person, one of you guys were closed off emotionally, and it may most likely be your person that's closed off emotionally. Look what we got here. We got rejection on the bottom of the deck, okay? So somebody in this connection, and I feel that this is what it was, ooh, if I can get it out. And I, I, being that I'm stuttering right now too, I feel that there was communication issues with your person also. Like your person didn't talk. Your person might not, even, might not have even tried to talk to you. Your person might have been too busy uh, doing whatever they want to do out in the world and not even worrying about, you know, trying to solidify this connection between you two. 
uh, before. And I think that's a lot like if, if, this, if this reading is resonating, that's a lot for you to take in because, um, you know, I mean, it's up to you whether or not if this does resonate with you, you take the person back or, you, or if you give them another chance. But, you know, you really got to think about all of that, too. You know, got to think about are you partnering with someone who uh, may have gone out into the world and, and, and gathered a bunch of uh, karmic debt, you know, with God knows who else. And you don't know who else that person, what kind of spirits and, you know, what kind of energy that person is trying to bring into your life or what, whatever they accrued out in, out in the world, you know. But it definitely said that there's block, emo, block emotional blocks, okay. And it's like, uh, I don't know, like partnering with people with emotional blocks. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Let's see what else we got. See what snapshots we got here for you. We got benefits. So I feel that your person is, let's see what we got. Ooh, I see. Ooh, okay. Wait, wait a minute. We got a new beginning. Mm. So you guys might not even take this offer. If this person comes back, you might not even accept this offer. There might be something else that is on the cards for you, something else that offers you better benefits than you could ever receive with this person, okay? I see unexpected money for some people that is coming in. Unexpected money, a windfall could be coming in for you guys, okay? And also, with this unexpected money and a windfall, this could bring in a new beginning for you and one that, one that you're able to experience more uh, luxuries or uh, be it emotional luxuries, you know, uh, be it uh, financial material luxuries as well. But I feel that a new beginning is coming to your life that might might just knock that person out of the box. It might like might not even make them no longer a contender. You may move on to uh, something that is new and that's uh, better for you overall. But I see there's a, some abundance that is coming towards you guys. That's the energy that is surrounding uh, this reading. Also, a lot of abundance. Okay. Let me see what else I got here. Okay, this card wanted to come out. Assistance. So you're being helped. I feel that a lot of you guys are being, you're going to be helped. You're being helped by uh, whatever it is that you believe in, like your guardian angels, your ancestors, God. You know, you're being helped by the universe, okay? In this situation, and I believe... And I feel that you're being helped uh, on a different path, like uh, one that is one that is more abundant for you. Okay, no longer somebody's second choice, no longer somebody waiting for you know until someone else makes their mind up. But this is like you receiving uh, some much needed abundance, a business deal. So something, some sort of business deal could come across your lap. Okay. And this is going to offer you uh, more relaxation. Now, business, though, it could just also be like a partnership or, you know, um, the universe partnering with you to bring you this abundance that is coming to you. Either way, this is abundance and this is the good stuff, okay? This is the good stuff that we have here. Influencers. Some of you guys may be YouTube influencers or uh, uh, social media influencers also, okay? Let's see what else we got so we can get this part. An opportunity. Oh, wow. Yo, see what I'm talking about? You got unexpected money, windfall, uh, benefits. You got affluence. This talks about the good stuff too, okay? There's some sort of opportunity that might be coming in for uh, some of you guys that's going to offer you uh, long-term stability, uh, offer you a different lifestyle. So I feel that you guys are... You guys are uh, being poised to be upgraded. You know what I'm saying? Like the universe is trying to upgrade you. Like, okay, let's get this chump out of the way. Or if it was a situation that was unfair to you, let's get this situation or uh, whatever out of the way. And let's get you in into some uh, some new positive energy and, to, and, and some blessings, some uh, some abundance. Let's get you, you know... 
let's get you what you deserve, you know? It's like trust, okay? It tells, it's telling you to trust these moments that are happening for you, okay? It says moments happen that strengthen your trust and faith, happenings, manifesting, and synchronicity. So a lot of you guys may be even been manifesting this change or manifesting this abundance that is on the cards for you at this time, okay? Let's see what else we got here. Let's get another advice. But yeah, there's a... You guys are vibrating to the coins in the month of September. You guys are vibrating highly to the coins. So, uh, depending on what your options are or what opportunities you have, if you got to, buy you a lottery ticket or something if you can. Or I don't know. Like This is like some lucky type, uh, some abundant energy I'm feeling off of this, this uh, spread. I, it says treat. Treat people how you want to be treated. If you want others to treat you with love, kindness, and respect, then you must treat them that way. If, and if people do not return the same in kind, then they're not for you. So keep in mind that, you know, at the end of the day, treat people how you want to be treated. And if they can't treat you that same way with kindness and respect and love, then you don't need them in your life, okay? Because I feel that with this new abundance, there's going to be a lot that's going to be popping in your life, okay, if this uh, if this is for you, all right? It's going to bring in you a new way of life. It's going to bring you uh, a lot of relaxation, um, affluence, you know, more money. Um, it could be uh, spiritual abundance as well. It could be with love as well. But it's going to bring you, you're, you're, you're on the up, you're on the increase, okay? And you, a lot of people might want to uh, get, in, get involved in that too. So just keep that in mind, okay? And um, that's what we got for you guys, Libra, in the month of September. Uh, like and subscribe, and I uh, wish you guys all the best, and take care, okay? Ciao.